So hello there. Today it's 3rd of January. I'm in a unheated uh, garage. Normally temperatures here are around 4 degrees. Not going much higher in the winter time, especially not January, uh, February. But as we have seen already in the last video, some Ontario perni have um, emerged. And I wondered why they do this in the winter time. But as you can see when you look at the windows, the sun now today is coming very flat into this garage. Maybe the sun reached not only here this side but also touched some of the of the cocoons of Ontario Perni and then they came out. This is another one. Look at this came out yesterday. It was the second of January and it managed to emerge without any problem from that big cocoon of the Fagara silk. It's a wonderful, wonderful, nice uh, female because that you can see because the body is filled with eggs it's a really heavy and beautiful Ontario Perni. Let's see whether we can show it to you here a little bit bigger because it's really nice with these little windows here uh, where the eyes are. This is transparent and you can look through it. Uh, probably I can show it to you using the lamp here so that we can see that it's just um, a hole there and we can with a lamp you can just show that that this is a, this, this is a hollow not hollow, no, this is kind of a glass thing here and of course it's a look is so beautiful the colors a little reddish also and these two stripes here with this silver gray and that's the head with the eyes here and of course now it's a little bit disturbed because it's a very light a beautiful very very beautiful Ontario penny and again the question is why does this female come out of her cocoon because this is not the time when uh, the oaks are starting to grow it's much too uh, early in the year except of course for uh, animals that probably come out in the Mediterranean uh, region on an island like Majorca or whatever where it's a little warmer they could be probably there live on Quercus ilex on the evergreen oak plant from the Mediterranean but here this is a really difficult uh, thing to survive and to find a food plant also for the female to lay their eggs this would be a very difficult task for her now let's look at her from the underside here you see the flattened body it's completely of course filled with eggs here so that's clear that it's a big big female um, that is waiting here to find a partner to fertilize the eggs that she is carrying in her nice body so that would be the, the task now because to find a mate for her that is difficult because first we have to bring one out of the cocoon and to uh, yeah that's the problem here again a picture of the head of this nice Fogoro silk no that's not really not Fogoro silk it's a Tusa silk uh, most originally from China. Wonderful animal. So I will prepare a box for this beautiful caterpillar and then of course I will try to see whether we can find a male here in the in the box that can 
come out of the cocoon also to fertilize this beautiful female because they don't live long they live around a week if it's not too hot and if they uh, if the the um, humidity is high enough but not longer so let's see what's going on you're part of this experiment stay tuned here subscribe to the channel thanks for watching